Blasters. Hello and welcome to this episode of No Blasters with me, Kieran Bartlett. Today's episode, I'm joined by countryside comedy hero. How do you feel about that? I'm not really sure. Oh, I thought you were doing exactly that. where you're from, though. Yeah. Um, I'm joined by. This. Let me see. Uh, backwater banter merchant. What about that? That's all alliterative. Like that. Sounds like shit toilet water, yeah. Well, sort of, but also I'm I'm not really a hundred percent sure what backwater what, is. Where you've come from? Uh, a wee town called Mahara. Have you been to Mahara actually? I don't think so. Is it different to Mahara Felt? Yes, it is like Mahara Felt's. Younger special brother, right? Okay, yeah. yeah. It's like just a slight, a bro- slight downgrade. A, the brother that gets put in the attic in a book in the yeah, yeah. Books, yeah. Right? It's the Danny DeVito to Marfelt's Arnold Schwarzenegger, and this is James McCagney. There we go. Hello. Uh, today's episode <laughs> is sponsored. Sorry, that was underwhelming. This is no, this is, <laughs> this is Kirsty. Today's episode is sponsored by um, Joxer. Quite right. Sorry, Don. You did tell me that. Is that what you got that? I got a wee delicious. A wee ice latte? A wee ice latte. You love I have, it? I have an addiction. See, when you're getting a nice latte, do you get syrup in it? Or do you no. just get a plain? Plain. It's nice, isn't it? It's nicer plain, yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't like, like the syrup. I don't like any syrup. Some days I'll go Americano as well. Just, just want the, and just just want the bean. Out. Jocks are just knocked that off you. Oh, yeah. Fucking right. Do you know why? Fucking. Because Jocks are a great place. That's yeah. why you go in, maybe there's something that's not even on the menu, asking for it, you get it. I went in the other day. I got porridge the other day. The porridge comes with like. A wee bit of maple syrup. I, I know that there's spices in there. I'm getting cinnamon and nutmeg. And <laughs> they do like with like winter berries on it. Do you know what I said? I said, is there any chance I could get a banana on that? And they sliced me a banana. They're like, shut the fuck up. Say no it more. was magical. Go there. It's the home of chaffles. You know this. It's a great place. If you're going to watch chaffles, it's chicken, waffles, sriracha, maple syrup, cinnamon butter. Now, personally, I prefer without the cinnamon butter, but with two hash browns. Water time. Right? Hash brown is hard. Oh, to eat. so good, hard. so good with chicken and waffles. Get in there, get it done. They have an amazing Caesar salad on at the minute as well, which is really good if you're trying to watch. Now it's really enjoyable. Joxer is open every day of the week. They are open for brunch uh, between nine and four, Monday through Thursday. Then they start opening late for the weekend. They open five to nine at night as well as nine to four. Get in there as a dinner menu if you're going to book a late table. Book it on resdiary.com. It's a fucking great place. We love Joxer. They love us. Home of Joffles. It's unbelievable. Also, want to take a wee minute just to quickly plug our Patreon, which is over patreon.com forward slash no blasters. You get a new episode of No Blasters Extra Time every Thursday. You can send us messages. You can arrange your own episode to play us. Play FIFA on an episode of No Blasters Extra Time. All our specials are up there gig pre-sales and such, you get a couple of announcements every week from me, we video announcements, it's a fucking great time, it's £3 a month for the basic bitch rate, it's £6 a month if you want to be in my good graces forever. Um, Also, speaking of our Patreon, uh, we have a lot of cool events coming up and one of these events is the second date I'm doing for Belfast Chant in the SSE, this is 24th of November this year, get your tickets now from ticketmaster.ie. It's fucking sensational. It's going to be a brand new comedy show. It'll be about an hour long. It's going to be fucking amazing. I'm already planning the grand finale. That's all I'm saying. Oh, shit. That's all I'm saying. No. You, What's the quack are you, mate? You How said wonder berries. Is, wonder I assume berries. that's just berries that grow in wonder. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, like, that's raspberries and enough. fucking... Yeah. I've heard that before. And I was like, what does that mean? I mean, it's self-explanatory. I shouldn't have asked. Sorry. Yeah, winter berries, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, okay. um, as opposed to summer berries. Although, I think a raspberry, you get... When you say summer berries, some people throw raspberry in there as well. Although I think summer berries are more like fucking blueberries and strawberries. Blueberries aren't and they? strawberries, but mm-hmm. a winter berry is a like a black, like a blackberry, a blackberry and, a, and, a, and a raspberry. Oh, a raspberry. They're they're oh, more man. bitter. Yeah, did you, you ever used to eat them as like a kid? Like just when you find them, on, yeah, like you find them in trees and stuff. Yeah, but yeah. like I did, but I would say not a lot of people in Belfast did because <laughs> you wouldn't really just get them. But yeah, we used to. I used to go to school, so like. As a lot of people did it. My 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 mum would have dropped <laughs> my mum would have dropped my brothers off at the Glen Road in La Salle and then I was going to school at Lisburn, so we'd take the Glen Road out to Lisburn. Yeah. Go down the Barnfield Road, which is this fucking steep fucking name. Right? With the morns in front of you, it looks amazing. Ooh. And if we were running early to school, we'd stop 
the pecks like and berries, berries. Oh, get some fucking, lunch. It was a fucking good time. That is, that it was good. a fucking good that time. That's good. You do some um, weird stuff as wins. I remember we used to, we used to like, do you know, like you play imaginary games and stuff. Mm. We used to play, and like, and this was extremely racist, but we thought it was like, we the, I like. Sorry, we're straight in. Go the ahead. TV made us racist as wins, right? Do you know, ads for trucker and stuff. Yeah. So that all the kids were like eating the squeezy butter or whatever, like the nutrients. Yeah, yeah. Out of the tubes, squeezy butter. The squeezy uh-huh. butter, man. We used to get a like. I had a truck and I had a trailer, and we used to put loads of butter in there and just sit with our shirts off and be like. We're in the true crowd. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> we used to like just mash the butter around and eat it. And we're, we we didn't know any better, so that doesn't count as being racist. Do you know what I mean? I don't know that it is racist. I don't think it is racist. We were just imitating the television. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's pretty pretty unbelievable though, that like, your imagination takes you to, you know, <laughs> let's imitate this true crowd. Right? Yeah, like, let's... You know? Right, that Kev, was the Kev, thing you're the, you have... TV. You have Quashy or core, I have Ricketts, right? <laughs> Guys, get around your know, lines. Come on. And in my street, you see, the, the, the biggest the biggest thing for us was football. Like Right. So we were const- like constantly playing football in my yeah. street. Um We were we were playing the adverts in between people playing football yeah, in our yeah. street. <laughs> did you ever did you ever get involved in like a early summer tennis craze? Yeah. A, a Wimbledon, 100%, a Wimbledon yeah. effect out in the street. Oh yeah. You know, I'm fucking Goran Ivanisovic. Gorn, Gorn, Gorn Ivanisevich appearing on Black's Road to ace it, <laughs> fucking smashing it. Oh, I loved it. I, I think everyone did that, and then you quickly realised how fucking hard tennis is. I'll be honest with you. Can I, can I tell the truth? And people won't believe us. People will go, "I oh, fuck up, you fuck up, right now." <laughs> really? I was fucking. Now I, I, I'm. I have two things to say here. I have never played tennis on a real court. Okay, right, okay. You're playing on like a hill. If you put me, if shit. you put me. In my mass street, where the net is a bike, <laughs> I am that god. Specific, yeah, I am god. Nobody could touch the, the you. On, the only person that ever gave me a challenge was Connor across the street. Right? He was good. Okay. Connor could do a drop shot, like actually, you know, like oh, where you yeah, like fuck cut it. through it and it spins. It has backspin on it, so it Hits spins away from the opponent. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, he could do those, and they were hard to get. Plus, they had re- they had, they had fucking really good rackets, right? Yeah. I had like a blue, I got like a bluish, greenish, like a, a turquoisey oh, fucking like a racket out of JJB Sports, mate. <laughs> oh shit! Shut up. Who's doing drop shots now, <laughs> bitch? Oh, I was I was a force to be reckoned with. I I be honest with you. Yeah. I have never lost. I have never I have never lost a game of table of tennis. Street tennis. I've never lost a game of table tennis. Right. I've lost. Sorry, I've lost a game. I've never lost a match. If you know. Oh, what yes, I mean. you lost. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it's collectively two, you, you won. Know. And I've never lost Street Sh- Moor Park Street tennis. <laughs> yeah, true story. That's amazing. Um, people won't believe. People will be like, "I oh, bollocks." Do you know what happened recently? I went to that barcade experience. That fucking that thing. I seen that, right? And I was so jealous. Me, do you know what? See, when it comes back, me and Willie. I have to go to that. I love that kind of stuff. It was class, right? So we we went down to it, and there was a guy there who lived over he, across Black's Road from me. And he's like a fucking PT now. Mm-hmm. And do you know what he was talking about? How good I used to be at football. There you go. <laughs> right? There you go. Up your what, holes. what did you play in football? What do you mean? Like, what was your position? Oh, what position? Yeah. Well, as as when I was younger, mm-hmm. I was I was a keen forward. Okay. And then I uh, I, be- I became a goalie. I became BFG, big fat oh. goalie. Oh, know? really? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. I was not I was not good at football. I remember. Um, do you know, like you're throwing him from the sidelines. Yep. I literally threw it like that. And I heard somebody go, what the fuck? And then the coach was like, just leave it. I remember, <laughs> I remember. It was a bar. It's funny like. sad. I remember one day we were playing Gaelic in school and um, for PE. And one of the lads who was like terrible, just a really sound guy. Yeah. Is there anything weirder than like a, a skinny, fit guy to who be can't a play sports? Football. It I, used to really annoy me because yeah. I'd be like, do you know what I could do? With if that I, body? If, if I was, yeah. <laughs> do you know what I could do with that body? <laughs> Fucking, and then people are like, don't talk to him. Right? <laughs> Stop and shouting right? at that <laughs> Right. But like, I was like, the ball went out and you yeah. know, Gaelic, you kick it in. Uh-huh. He fucking, he went, he charged past people to get the ball <laughs> To take to take a fucking kick in and ran up and went no and, and the coach the coach didn't do he shooted them with your coach did which is like let's just get the game on but he but he went with a real like no that's a fucking garrison game you know what I mean <laughs> you're like all right all right yeah I feel like I'd be better now just as a kid was shockingly bad at sport 
at just, just football for oh, right, some okay. reason. Right. I was a decent swimmer. And oh, see, I wasn't. Like, I could run, but I, I could go through the water like a fucking like a something like a sea. amphibious yeah. amphibious I don't know. I, I a, a fish. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I go through the water like a fucking <laughs> some no skills. You know. And, <laughs> you know. Oh man, I couldn't. I I was a terrible swimmer. I was terrible. Really? And I, I was fearful. I was mm. f- deep fear. Like yeah, you, you were know? afraid of the water. Did you ever I, used to have that fear as a kid when you thought there was like jellyfish under the water? In the, in the sea, in the swimming yeah. pool, though. in the swimmers, I was always scared of, like plasters. Yeah, that's great. You know, or like yeah, somebody. Fears. I remember the first time I saw somebody wearing a veruca sock, and I went, "What's wrong?" I was like, "What's that?" And they went, "They have a veruca," and I was like, "The, the wee girl out of fucking Willy Wonka, what are you on about?" <laughs> and they were like, "Oh, it's like this thing." And then I remember getting one one time, oh, and it was fucking. It was so grim. Disgusting. It was so grim. See, whenever it comes out, do you know what's like? You know, you know the inside of an orange. You know the pith? Yeah, there's a wee like, like just, a, there's like a there's root, a wee root, root just sticking oh. out. Yeah. I remember what? What? Sorry. I remember <laughs> I remember <laughs> I thought you said so. I see see I remember whenever the, the dad came out, I remember literally just being like what, what even is like my, what even is top like, of my body right now? Yeah, it's gross. So disgusting. Um I fuck it on me, I didn't I there's certain things that you ended up having to do in PE that were just fucking rare, like yeah. Do you know, mm-hmm. like I think the, the rare shit. I, I remember one time they just went right. We're doing gymnastics for four weeks, <laughs> and I remember going, "You can't just you don't start just, gymnastics. You don't just go, I'm starting gymnastics at 14. Yeah. <laughs> they're already winning medals when they're 14. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like what what gymnastics for like in the space of four weeks as well? I don't know what are you gonna learn? What are you even gonna learn? Walk from that bit. That Walking bit. that squishy mat, and and it was fucking. The, they set up like a like a like a horse type thing, right. but it was like an old one. It wasn't like the new ones. It was, you know, is that the thing where you they, they spin around? Yeah, <laughs> but it was it was it was like that. Except it was like an old. It didn't have handles on. It, it was like, or not a horse. What they call it, the vault? You know the vault thing. Yeah, it was like an old thing. It was like it was like a cabinet. It was just like a fucking cabinet, right? <laughs> and it was like here, jump over it. I'm like, why am I fuck jump over? What does, what does that even mean? <laughs> jump over it. What do you what does that even mean? <laughs> and then I remember, oh, oh, another class. Here's another great moment out of Karen Bartlett, this sporting life. This right? sporting life, Karen right? Bartlett. I fucking I <laughs> <laughs> I would watch that documentary. I I um we were we were uh doing so so coming up to sports day every year. Yeah. For about five or six weeks before sports day, uh-huh. they would start going right here. Time to fucking get the javelin out, right? <laughs> Time to get the fucking shot put out. Now I could shot put a wee bit. Yeah. Of course I could. I'm fucking, I'm built like a fucking Romanian woman. Of course I could fucking shot put. A wee babushka. You know what I mean, right? I'm fucking right, right? I'm like, you want somebody killed fucking 15 feet away? <laughs> the Bang, bar, right? Man. And um, here's this fucking cannonball going in their face right now. <laughs> I was all right at that, right? And then uh, the, the, uh, the high jump, the high jump. Don't, the, you were, are you going to say you were amazing at the high jump? I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> okay. Right? I'm You're gonna not going to believe this. I'm going to say this. So, <laughs> teacher starts teaching us the Fosbury flop. You know, the fucking run up and back. Oh, he fuck. Back, Holy I'm going, shit. I'm looking at him going, <laughs> right. This is, this, is, this is the day. This is, I'm looking at the date on my watch this going, my life. This, is, this is the death certificate, right? All right. <laughs> this is, you know, call it time of death, fucking. <laughs> First two on a Thursday, in <laughs> fucking two thousand and one, right? I'm looking at this, and this is I think so. I was, I think I was third year, first time. So it was around year two thousand, right? Okay. And he starts fucking or two thousand one. He starts teaching us this fucking thing. I'm looking. I'm going the bollocks. Right? <laughs> it's like, what are you talking about? And people are going up, and one of the super fit kids are fucking you know raking over this. There's Dennis. Who's that? So right? it's like they've got the. Do you know those shit combs you got in PE? Mm. The wire, like wire combs. Yeah. And so it's like about five of them stacked here, five of them stacked here, a big map behind it, and then a fucking a javelin yeah. <laughs> going between the two things, yeah. right? And you have to jump over. And uh, I remember he's going right and he's showing us, he showed us how to do it. And, you know, through your legs over and all. And I thought in my head, and the, you're, you have to line up. So I stuck myself near the back of the line. Right? <laughs> right, yeah. And then we're st- we're getting there, and I'm going, for fuck's sake, I'm going to have to actually try this, right? And loads of people are just fucking diving straight into it or hitting their head on it. Yeah, and yeah. Me, right? And two of the, do you know what annoy me about this? Two of the wee dicks that weren't doing PE that day. You know, two wee dicks who went, 
Or I, I didn't bring my gear. Yeah, yeah. Two of them we did. Every week. Two of them we did. Yes. Fucking, we're standing there in their uniform, picking the javelin up and putting it back on. I'm like, <laughs> you've turned them into we we helpers. We uh, yeah. We, we we fucking we drones. We 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 like hellhounds, them. right? Yeah. I'm like, I'm going. I don't like henchmen. That. They should be in getting fucking, getting fucking slammed somewhere by Good somebody, Lord. right? And I'm, <laughs> I know getting fuck. They sh- they should be in fucking having to do stuff in technology with blindfolds on. That's what should yeah. be happening. Get fucking, the soldering iron yeah, out. Get the fucking yeah. so, get the, the bandsaw and the soldering irons out, right? And uh, yeah, Ban saw your tech project with a, with a fucking blindfold <laughs> dick, right? Anyway, because cause this fat kid's about to do a Fosbury flop, right? And I'm fucking running over. And in my head, I'm going, the only way I can do this is to run at it and dive and pretend I'm trying to save a ball going into the top corner. Right, okay. It's the only thing I can do. Yeah. So instead of doing the run, turn to the side, because I know if I turn to the side when I'm running, I'm going through a wall, right? <laughs> I'm going through a wall. So I fucking, I just run up to it and just go bang and dive. Like literally, just hit it like that. literally as if I'm trying to save the ball, right? <laughs> and I fucking cleared it. No way. And mate, I, like, I remember people literally going, Jesus fucking Christ, boy, yeah. oh my God. <laughs> Nobody could believe it. It wasn't even that high, but it was fucking, well, it, it was, it was too high running. for me, right? Yeah. And I okay. fucking cleared it. My feet didn't even hit it and all, right? And this was like, it's, it should have been me. They should have been standing on tables like fucking Dead Poets Society for this, right? <laughs> it was fucking unbelievable. They should have, they should have, that was the day they should have made a statue for me outside PE <laughs> yeah. for fucking inhuman achievement, right? <laughs> like, this is outrageous. Just fucking carried fucking 18 stone over a fucking javelin, right? <laughs> and do you know what he said? I always remember this. He goes, I missed that one. That, that wasn't the Fosbury flop. Do it again. Fuck off. Do it again. He was like, that was something else. That's not, that's not, you beat a qualified fat on sports day. And I went. PE teachers are something. And he goes. And he goes. Do it again. And did you? Do and it I went back. Tried to do a false reflop. Nearly killed myself. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, you know, fucking javelin through the face. <laughs> Just like, I, and people like I. I remember one of the boys in my class chatting to me after, going like, "I can't believe he fucking made you do that again." That you is fucking insane, cleared it. Like, you yeah. fucking cleared it. Like, what a day. You know what I mean? That's like. That's he like, was out to get you. That's fascism. Like that whole you know day I mean? was set up. Oh um, yeah, man. He's like, "I'm gonna fuck Kieran Bartlett," and then you just pissed him off. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was like one of the worst PE days. Yeah. Oh man, PE was fucking sucked. Yeah, I hear it. Did your PE teacher right? We used to go swimming, and then when we were all getting changed, you just stood there. Waiting that we got changed. They didn't do that, but there was a guy in Lisbon Swimmers used to do that. Yeah. It was weird. I never thought it was weird until like thinking back and I was like, yeah. that's kind of weird. I remember like whenever, when we would have been getting changed after PE, teachers sometimes would have come in and just, eat, they literally would have been looking up at the ceiling and just gone, get changed, get yeah, done, yeah, get yeah. out, right? Yeah, that was yeah, it yeah. and they'd be out again. Not weird to be for our yeah, teachers would be that way. Like, yeah, no, probably the same way. But no, but the, there was a guy in Lisbon Swimmers was a fucking weirdo. Okay. What right. what is Lisburn swimmers? Oh, the swimming pool. The swimmers in Sorry. Lisburn. I thought it was like a, a group. That was a group name or something. Lisburn <laughs> swimmers. <laughs> it's like who the fuck are they? Sorry, man. Like the, the pool, just yeah. The swimmers in Lisburn. That's a fucking gag. Yeah, I was in the Lisburn swimmers. <laughs> yeah, I was like, all right, nice. <coughs> oh man, yeah. I was just in it just to take their average down. No, it was. Um, <laughs> It you was, were a plant. I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm a ringer for for West Belfast swimmers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was. Uh, I mean, I fucking, I fucking hated swimming in school. It was so shit. Yeah, it was weird. Like, we had this thing. We never really did swimming. We just went to the pool, and it was a woman called Miss Beatty, who literally, like, in my mind, she was standing there smoking, but I know mm. she wasn't, but, like, in my mind, she was. But she just got this thing out called the sausage, and it was just a giant, flatable sausage, and everyone just scrambled trying to get on it for, like, half an hour. And that was our swimming. <laughs> Ours was fine, but do you know what, do you know what melted me? I remember in, in like, first year. Oh mate, you know, just like you're at that awkward age where it's like you're stuck. Like you you're don't st- want to be getting. Just, you don't want to be naked with. Yeah. You don't want to be naked with the guys that you do maths with. Yeah, do you exactly. know what I mean, right? Mm-hmm. So like we're in the pool, right? And I I hate my life, right? Oh God. And at that time in first year, I was actually one of the taller kids. Okay. I I just didn't ever. You I just I, stopped. I, I didn't fulfill my potential. You know. <laughs> right, yeah. I was one of the taller kids, and um, but not like. Not like uh, one of the tallest, so mm-hmm. sort of in the middle, but you had towards the end, because you were kind of tall. And on in in the first swimming lesson, yep, they lined us up according to our height in the pool in Maysfield, which is fucking deeper in the middle, right? All oh, right. So like, I'm vaguely 
on my tiptoes going, please nobody fucking touch me because I'd fall and die, <laughs> right? And I'm standing there going, right? <laughs> and you were you were a few yards, maybe five yards or whatever, into the pool, if you know what I mean? Yeah. Away from the edge. And you had to swim to the edge and he was going to judge you and put you in the groups. Okay. And I'm literally going, sir, I can't swim. And he goes, <laughs> swim. He said, just swim towards me. And yeah. I went, I can't swim. And he and goes, just, just come towards me. And I started walking. He goes, no, swim. And, and I went, like, I can't swim. <laughs> yeah. Like that way you ever say a meme? I can't swim. Well, you're like, <laughs> right, you're well, I don't know. But that, no, but that's great. <laughs> I probably was like that we girl yeah. because, mate, and and I remember just getting over the edge of the pool and he's like, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I can't fucking swim. <laughs> oh, you want me to drown? Yeah. Do you want to have to fucking, yeah. he, he's not going to jump in this fucking idiot ass track suit, is he? Yeah. I can't. Yeah, no, that's weird. I think uh, I think some people just shouldn't be teachers. We, uh, you actually remind him. to do this and go, that's what your feet should be doing. And that, that wouldn't even and make I'm you going, swim. I'm going, do you know how I can do that? <laughs> Look how easy, Alice. Yeah. Out of the water? That's Cunt. not going to make you so you're going to drown with that. We used to, you might have been another game we used to play. So it was get the sausage out and everybody scrambling on the sausage. Or I'm still talking about swimming. Or <laughs> get the oh, sausage out. Yeah. It's or, a good game to play. Get yeah, the sausage out. Yeah. It was just me and the PE teacher. Christian Brothers. Was like, it? Where is everybody? <laughs> um, <laughs> it was, so that was the game in Miss Beatty's pool. Or her other game was she would get one to like line up in the pool around the edges and she would just like. The one who can stay under the water the longest wins. <laughs> it's just a pile of kids. Just Jump ones underwater, yeah. like, like gold blue and shit. And people are floating up. And like, that was the game. That's fucking mad. I thought I was, that was another thing I thought back to my childhood <laughs> going, that was, that Fuck. was wrong. Yeah, like, it's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. fucked up. Jesus. I remember, um, I remember just the, the, the good, good memories I have from P though were usually playing football or, do you know what was a fucking good one? Yeah. There was a time when, uh, so when, actually this happened for a few weeks, when the Uyghurs were away swimming, right. they would split us then so that half of us, just to give us more room and stuff, half of us were going to get changed in the girls' changing room. Right. See in our school, mate? Mm -hmm. This is in now the old building in my school, like, the fucking, the we lads changing rooms. I feel, yeah, I know where you're going We're like something out of a fucking low-budget prison film. Yeah. The girls' changing rooms? We're, <laughs> yeah. like, the, we're like fucking Premier Inn. <laughs> It was fucking unbelievable. Like, yeah. It was fucking. I, I, I swear they had mirrors and curtains and they fucking had, yeah, curtains, hair dryers. Curtains. Yeah, no, they legitimately. Had bit, they had a bit. Um, a butler with the, the only the only fucking curtains was in our changing rooms was when I quaffered the pubes. <laughs> you know what I mean? The fucking yeah, quaffer. Yeah, the fucking <laughs> the, what do you call it? The fucking the girls once had they had a red light. Yeah. Like a red um like a heat lamp, and they all used to set their towels over on it and all. So when they came in the warm mental, towels, yeah. I was like, when I come in, I'm lucky if I'm literally not getting my mates bollocks just going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Unbelievable. <coughs> Fucking unbelievable. Yeah, or, I remember awesome. one time we were um oh I remember this so good. We were we, <laughs> I remember this so good. We we were playing a match, uh football like a football match. Uh -huh. and, um it, but it was just like a it was a it, this was a training game basically between like the first eleven and the five subs and then like a few lads like out of mm -hmm. pee or whatever were playing like this match and um, uh, I remember our, our coach at that time was actually like a politics teacher or whatever who also liked football and um, <laughs> he came in and I remember him fucking he was bollocking us going because we were whatever fucking I think we finished 2-2 two -two between our first team and like yeah. lads who don't even train right Yeah. <laughs> and he was like he's our fucking uh, and he's going nuts right and I remember him going and he, he, sa he says to somebody, he goes, uh, my granny, we get up and down that lane, better than you, son. <laughs> and the wee lad literally just goes, fuck, you must have some fat granny, right? <laughs> I, I remember literally just going, oh, shit. Hiding, <laughs> hiding under my goalie gloves, but also looking out, being like, <laughs> right, what happens next? Oh, mate, he went, Flip the lid. He went fucking ape shit. Oh. And I'm like, to be fair, you are being a cunt. Yeah. And if someone gives you it back a wee bit, I think if a pupil comes back with something like that, you have to accept it. Yeah, that yeah. was good. Like, because yeah, cause, yeah, but he was also being. I mean, he was being a cunt. Like, yeah, yeah. He was probably bollocking us. Just being a twat. He, for but a he, he literally bollocked me for being fat that day. No way. Did he, yeah. Did he, what did he say? To you? Like, was it inventive like, or just fat? He, <laughs> <laughs> inventive or just a fucking fat? <laughs> <laughs> like, no, oh. he goes. He, he um. 
the second the second goal that they scored. All right. Oh no. Second goal that they <laughs> scored was a wee rotten. It was a wee rotten, wee sneaky sort of, you know, like, like a wee, it was a wee, a wee scoff of a shot. Yeah, and yeah. I got down for it, but it was like, I mean, a fucking pitch was shite. Yeah, yeah. A, 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 a fucking like the ball's coming at me. I get down for it. It's taking a wee bit of a bobble, and I fucking loose hands, oh, spilled it, fumbled. and as I'm getting up, somebody else comes in, slides in, and fucking goes in. Of course. And it was a shit. It was a shit goal, and it was shit by me. So mm-hmm. far enough. But he was like, he basically was like, if you were doing more press ups, if you were fitter, if you weren't. As big as you are, <laughs> and I'm going. I'm sitting there. I'm sitting there, just zen, going. I can't carry chips on the way home. <laughs> so fucking. I'm going to the hungry hound. You fucking <laughs> can't. Um, oh, I hated him. Oh, what a bitch. I hated him hard, like at that time. So it was mental. I met him not that long. Well, a few years ago, I met him when I went back over to the school for something. And uh, I was the. And he was fucking sad. Always. And and I dropped. I was saying to him. Do you remember this thing and all like the thing that he used to have, like a wee monster he used to tell you about, was his like his rage, you know? Okay. It like, would be like if his I've got a say monster say in say me. his surname was McSage. Uh-huh. He would go the he would give you like a wee sheet that had like a fucking uh a, what do you call it? Like a um like a wee monster on it and it would say on it, Do your homework, hand it in all time. You don't want to meet me. I am the rage of McSage. Oh right? my god! Now that wasn't his real name. Right. But it, yeah, was well, another, yeah. it was another word for rage that <laughs> yeah. rhymed with his name. Yeah. But I don't want to. Uh, and and I said that to him. And he he at, in fairness to him, he roared laughing. Yeah. And went fuck. You'd never get away with that now. No. And I went, what do you mean? And he goes, kids now wouldn't accept a threat like that. And I went, they wouldn't accept a threat. I went, it's not a threat, is it? <laughs> like it's a. I thought I was always a joke. And he goes, and then he looked at me and was like. I never joke about that. And I was like, this guy loves it. <laughs> yeah. This guy loves it. And then, do you know what's like... mental? Oh, no, one of the other teachers from my time there came over and he goes to her. It'll be like going, uh, you know, Roisin, Kieran Bartlett. And she literally went like this. Yes. No. And walked Oh, over. what a bitch. And I was like. Fucking Roisin. I was like, Jesus Christ, Roisin. That wasn't her name either. Oh, right. Okay. Do you want Shit, yeah. Anyway, I was like, yes. <laughs> I was about to say, yeah, you're changing names. I should do that. <laughs> Fucking witch. Yeah, man, meeting teachers is a strange thing. Well, most of them are dead on. Though. Most of them are dead on. They're kind of like, ah, oh, well. Actually, I, I understand most teachers now because, like, if you do, <coughs> like, like, if there is a lot of kids around, you're like, you do want to go fucking just be like, fuck off. I know, like, you, you know just fuck up. Yeah. Do you know what it is, though? The, the, the ones, like, see, see like, the, there was one, there's ones that I can look, I can honestly look back on and go, we were a bunch of wee dicks. Yeah, yeah. And you were being a dick in order... To they, just they keep survive. controlling the room yeah, and go yeah, yeah. here. If, if we're all being dicks today, I'm gonna be a biggest one, and I <laughs> and I totally get it, right? Hundred percent. And then there was other ones that I look back on and go, "You were a fucking asshole you were because you're actually an asshole." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Or like oh, you meet yeah. them now and you go, "Oh, you're an asshole." <laughs> you're I met I met, I met one of my old English teachers there the other week. Totally fuck or like a week or two ago. Totally, a week yeah, ago. Totally. totally fucking dead on. Yeah. But but at the time, me and her would have fucking butted heads a bit. Yeah. But she was fucking really nice, and I'm going. I was probably I was, I was probably I was the being problem, a dick. like yeah. Do you know what I mean? Probably being a wee bit of a dick, right? Yeah. But like, sometimes I'll admit there's one or two I've met since, and I've gone, "Oh, you're, you're that, you're, you're that guy." Prick. You're like, you're you just know? angry at life. Yeah, you're just and an you're asshole. Taking out you're shooting your kids. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, do you know what's really funny me as well? Lucy, the amount of ones that I went to school with, who are teachers now, uh-huh. who were completely fucking rockets at school. Like, yeah. I go, how are you? How I literally mentioned this last night, right? This is true. Yeah. So. Chloe, Chloe was watching Django Unchained, right? Of course. And I came yeah. in and watched a bit of it with her. And you know, there's that bit where, uh, what do you call him, Dr. Schultz is telling Django about Siegfried and Brunhilde, right? All that stuff. Oh, yeah, I love the way he says Brunhilde. Brunhilde. That always stuck right? with me. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, Brunhilde von Schaft, right? Anyway, so <laughs> he's talking about Brunhilde and uh, Siegfried, right? Mm-hmm. And in our fucking... German in Deutsch heute, German today are fucking textbooks, yeah. right? In Deutsch heute, there was there was comic strips, yeah, of Siegfried, right? Right, so okay, it's like a legit fucking thing, right? It's an actual, yeah. yeah fairy Siegfried tale. was like his fucking, you know, he has the fucking Valkyries type fucking helmet, yeah. even cool. though that's like a fucking Norwegian thing. Anyway, it don't matter. <laughs> he, he was, you know, he's out in the fucking out in the Cheetown Forest or whatever, and he's fucking giving it rice. Uh-huh. And one of my mates, in like I want to say second or third year, took my book. Drew a cock on Siegfried going from like page 20 in this book, <laughs> literally like across every page of the book yes, until like the very that. last page of the book. And instead of going right to the end of the book and doing a wee cock at the end, 
he just got to like the second last page, came an inch on the page, and drew like a wee head and a wee jizz, <laughs> right? But yeah. there was veins through my whole book. Oh my right? God, right? I'm literally looking at my, he gave it back to me and I'm looking at my book. I'm looking at my book going, this is the same guy whenever I was like later in school in fucking the key to German grammar, fucking my other textbook, did this one where it was like, uh, help, you know, translation. Drew, drew a crocodile munching a guy's dick under a lake and yes. wrote on it, translation, help, the crocodile has my dick. Right? <laughs> I got done that day because yeah. I laughed at it loud oh, and teacher was like, who did this? And all I'm like, it's not in my fucking handwriting. Anyway, veins through yeah. my whole book. He's a fucking teacher now. That, yeah, like, so how does he how can you rationally show to someone though? How can you discipline somebody yeah. if they draw a 140 page cock? <laughs> How can like, you? Yeah, no. You, what is it? What you is would it have to laugh. I no. I don't. I don't know him now. Yeah. I just know he's a teacher. I haven't spoken to him. Sorry, I, yeah, I haven't spoken to him in years. That is such a weird thing. So my mate's a teacher as well, and I say the exact same things. Like even if like a pupil like curses, he's like, I have to, I have to shout at them. And I'm like, how can you do that? I, like, know. I, I don't know. understand it. I couldn't. But it's like they definitely think things like that are funny though, because I remember one time like we had these wee lunch cards, <laughs> and oh, my like mate you threw money dicks on over it. Mm. Like obviously it's always dicks. And uh, the teacher was holding it up and like, do you think that's funny? With a card covered in dicks and you're just like, yes, slide, yes. There was, a, there was a line, <laughs> there was a line, I don't know if I've told this story before, there is there is a line in the Edith Wharton novel, uh, The Age of Innocence. So The Age of Innocence, long story, fucking very long, boring story short. Edith, right? Long story short, right? Perhaps. Sorry. It's about a dude who's like, sort of engaged and ends up marrying this fucking society fucking bride and it's okay. all a loveless marriage yeah. when really he wants the fucking he wants the, the he, street he, woman he, he, he wants the fucking scoop of muck out yeah. of this other one right uh -huh. uh, who's like a works at the a, divo a divorcee a fucking you know a, a countess yeah which is, Foreign, she's exotic. Oh, yeah. He wants a wee. He wants. He wants a piece of that. He wants a that wee space. Fucking, he wants a wee bit of that fucking easternbride.com, dot yeah. com, right? Yeah. Wants, I don't know if that's a real website. Probably. Eastern bread, like All right. He wants a bit of that, right? And there's a line in it. I swear to God. And you know when you're, uh, you're reading a book out loud in class, yeah. And you're like just your mates reading it, and you're scanning down a page, and you're like, oh shit, and you're like, this is coming up. Someone's about to actually have to fucking say this out loud in this classroom. Right? <laughs> a line where it says. Ah, uh, you've come, and the countess gingerly removed her hand from her muff. No, what? right? Like that's that's a that's funny to me now. That's that's an amazing line. That's a great line. And it was a sexual line then, of course. No, like a, a muff, you oh, know, like a, like, a, like a glove muff. Right. Okay. Which is also <laughs> that's that's, that's something you can search for on OnlyFans, isn't it? <laughs> I'm looking for a big fucking glove muff, right? <laughs> Oh my well, god! It warms your hands, right? Yeah, yeah. But you know what I am? And she's she's well taking her hand out of this out of this muff. And, uh, oh, Jesus Christ! But like, how you met? Ah, uh, you've come, and she gingerly removed her hand <laughs> from her mouth. And I remember when that got said, me and the drummer at uh, uh, the band I was in, we were literally <laughs> two of us were sitting there, and we're like, no, right? yeah, yeah. And teacher, teacher was like, uh, guys, what, what appears the, to be funny? The, about the this? level of maturity <laughs> yeah. uh, in this room at the moment, and I'm sitting there going, no, this is funny now. I'm 36. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, no, that's, that's the idea. That someone has to read that out in class. Funny. Yeah. I like and the, there's no way she. That's why I think like sometimes teachers, if they're hanging around Wayne's too much, and they're like, no, that's not funny all the time. They become kind of weird people. Yeah, because then they talk to other adults like that's not funny. Uh -huh. you know what I mean? like, yeah, uh, maybe she watch what you're saying. Yeah, you're like, uh, you know, maybe you should fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, there's always that. I think that happens. It definitely, definitely happens. One hundred percent. Yeah, it's fucking primary weird. school probably especially oh, hanging around oh, children all day. Baby, you're bound to become weird. Babysitters. Babysitters. That's how you wind up a primary school teacher. Oh, you you be a babysitter you and then come You tell them they're a babysitter. Oh, right. you, you don't really teach. <laughs> Watch them. I did that. I yeah. said that to a teacher the other night in Bangor at a gig. <laughs> you said this to a teacher. Yeah, I just, oh, right. I just went, the gig. I, I literally thought you meant just in or something. This was this was a great little moment where I went. Mm -hmm. I said to one, "What do you what, uh, what do you do? I'm a teacher. What do you?" Uh, and I went, "What do you what do you teach?" And she says, "Art." And I went, "You're not a teacher." Yeah, that's you're, I went, "You're a fucking joke." <laughs> <laughs> I went. I went. I went. Here's here's how you teach art, guys. It's gonna be artists. Yeah, that's literally the whole. I thing. went. Did, I went. Do you go over to people who are already talented and stand near them, right? All this. Oh my that, god, that's so right. True. That's what art teaching is. That teacher is does, so right? true. And uh, I was fucking right. I was to, like be ver, to be fair, to be she was pissing herself, right? And then yeah, somebody else. She's like, I know. I was later on the gig. I was talking to somebody else, 
And I goes, and what do you do? And she goes, I'm a teacher. And I went, I goes, now, are you a real teacher? Are you like a cunt, right? <laughs> and she goes, I, I'm, a, I'm a teacher. And I goes, what do you teach? And she goes, primary one. And I went, oh, I went, you're, a, I went you're, you're a fucking babysitter. Yeah. And and, uh, and then somebody that was with her was laughing. <laughs> and I goes, what do you do? And she goes, I'm a teacher. I'm like, <laughs> I went, is there anybody in here not working in teaching, right? And then I goes, and what do you teach? She was P4. And I was like, <laughs> right and then but that led me in the story about someone having me in P4 right okay great. very enjoyable okay fine it was a fucking great game. I don't, I don't want to burn up in the material okay I was wondering but it was okay, great that's fine. it was fucking but see I'd see, see if you tell a primary school teacher that they're, they're a, a joke baby, they're a babysitter yeah <laughs> I can imagine you, you just see them going oh, you they're tell, trying not to laugh but they're fucking rich <laughs> you tell any teacher like yeah like uh, even as a joke you're just like, oh, sure, it's teaching. Like, that I know, day, I know. doing all that. Do you not finish at three o'clock? <laughs> yeah. you get the summer off? Fuck up. <laughs> yeah, they do not enjoy that no. shit. Like, do you work, oh, five days a week, is it all right? Nine to three, you all right? <laughs> Fuck up. You know what I mean? You, oh, you have your marking. Oh. We've had a marking in the evening. <laughs> do you get paid extra for marking and I? Okay. <laughs> if it's if it's, if it's it's papers, do you know what? They get paid like the... Oh, mark, yeah, yeah, no, I know, mark, I know people that do that. It's a, what a hellish existence. Oh, that'd be fucked. We used to like. Our ones used to do it, my yeah. sisters. Oh, no, my my ma and my auntie does it. But um, no, we used to like try and just, uh, like, after a test was done, just write something weird in the test just to see if the teacher if would ever bring it, it yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. They never bring it up. Like, do you remember that family guy line something about it? Basically, Peter just said steel vagina or something. <laughs> said, steel vagina. We used to like write that in our tests <laughs> and see if, just on a page. Yeah. Just to see if anybody said anything, but they never just did. They just text, they just ignored just it. Yeah, they just pretended to give uh, I do you know when I was when I was teaching in the uni, mm -hmm. I I did really feel a burden of responsibility to yeah. be thorough, like because okay, yeah, because I'm going. This is he's the future. This is fucking somebody's fucking life. You know, we're dealing with degree. Here. Like I don't want <laughs> to shit through it, man. See when you've like 120 of them to mark. Oh, yeah, it's, it's hard work. Surely by the end you're like I truly don't give a fuck. And, and, and what you know you've even written at this near, point? Nearly all of them we pick. There's like six essay questions. Nearly all of them pick the same one. Mm. So like it's what is the difference between objectivity and impartiality in journalism? Yeah, oh, dude, for like fifty papers. See, see the amount of them that would start off by going uh, according according to Wikipedia. No, impartiality shut up, shut is this. I would literally be like Wikipedia. I'd be like, or according to uh, like Webster's dictionary or something. I'd be like. Don't do that. <laughs> Some people stop. people used to do footnotes to the Urban Dictionary. That's fucking insane. I used to be like, if you know how to do a footnote, know how to leave this out. Like, <laughs> Don't like write that. Oh, man, it was nuts. Oh, man. What happened to your teaching career? Were you dead? Comedy. Oh, right, okay. I was about to say, were you disgraced or did you just <laughs> decide to leave? <laughs> I was probably on my way to being disgraced. <laughs> like it was going to happen. I was on like, my way. I'm jumping ship. I was, in, I was an angry, grumpy cunt for about the last... Definitely a last yeah, two, three years. I think it. I ran into someone you taught at one point, and he said you were very similar to your stand-up persona. On oh, that's weird. Yeah, I was like, "What's he like?" And he was like, oh, "He's kind of like when he's roasting the audience." Would you agree with that, Michael? Michael was in one of my classes. No, this guy could have been talking shit. Uh huh. Nah. No. Was I a grumpy cunt? Did he teach you? Was I was I overly grumpy when I was teaching your year? What you taught history, right? Journalism. Journalism. Journalism oh, okay. and media studies, but like the history of journalism. The was history my, of journalism. That was my real thing, but hardly anybody fucking did any of those essays. <laughs> Every, I, I'm dying to hear this. Every, yeah, go ahead. Everybody else gave me a hard time. I, Expa I, I, was, I heard expand, that. Expand, like, Michael. That like? Expand. I would be jaded as well. Like, if nobody was really... Nobody cared? Yeah. What, no. what, what did people say, Michael? I'm intrigued. He wants specifics, names... Oh, oh shit. will be shot like oh <laughs> shit. Right. Unbelievable. Yeah, no, I um I think probably if I was reviewing myself, I would say I was a grumpy bastard. I was definitely stricter than other people that were teaching there. Ah, uh, yeah. Cause, okay. cause you just didn't. Do you know what it was? You just knew they were talking I, shit I, all the time. I just I came from being taught by people that were like that. Yeah. In school and, and in, in uh Queens. Do you know what though? I kind of appreciate that kind of teacher. Like it's it's funny when I, the teacher's I a was, grumpy look, bastard. Here's the way I would look at it, right? Yeah. Some people wanted me to be Pep Guardiola. They want me to put on a wee cardigan and put the arm around. Mm -hmm. I was Mourinho. Okay. I'm, <laughs> I, I'll, I'm <laughs> I'm wearing a tracksuit and I'm telling you you're a cunt. You know what I mean? That's, that's he was a guy on Coke, wasn't he? Yeah, what? Was he the one on Coke? Mourinho? Yeah. I've, on, well, I've, on Coke? I don't understand football, I'm sorry. Is no, that football? So. Was, there, was he not the one who ran out of the camera? Oh, Maradona. Crazy. Maradona, Maradona. Maradona. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. 
I knew I shouldn't have went. I knew I shouldn't oh, have asked. Oh, I shouldn't have I asked. I enjoyed this. His eyes were like, <laughs> yeah. Out there, he scores that. He scored that penalty or whatever. And he's, he's like, just, oh. <laughs> he's just, and it's like, here, get that guy over a drug test. <laughs> yeah, that dude here, is fucking pissing this cup. You mad? <laughs> it's, it's just fucking petrol coming out of him. Like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? That was fucking mad. Oh, yeah. oh here, we better um, we better, do the, we better do the quarter final of the Crisp Champions oh, League. We're down to the last two. Smith's bacon fries versus oh mate, the classic Halo cheese and onion. This is a fucking. This is a clash. A, b- a big name's going home, like. Yeah. This is fucking PSG versus I mean, Real Madrid, like. Oh, man. The, the Tito Crisp is so versatile, do you mm. know what I mean? Like, you can eat it on its, by itself. It's you can have it on a sandwich. Have it a sandwich. On the side of a salad? On the side of a salad. It's not a salad anymore when you're putting yeah, crisps no. on it. Um, um, see if you have, like, one of these after, like, a square of dairy milk. Unbelievable. Do you know what is stinking though? What I don't like What's the, that? the the chocolate that has them baked into it. Oh, I've never even it's attempted nice. to eat it's that. Nice. Somebody got me it as a joke, and then I was like, "Ha ha!" I'm never eating that. And then about four days later, I'm like, <laughs> is, "Is that not? Is that, is that still in the cupboard?" Yeah. <laughs> um, see these. Mm-hmm. I I uh, Smith's bacon fries. I keep wondering. I keep wondering what it would be like to dip one of these in the in the egg. Right. To see, does it work? Oh, wait, I have bacon the and bacon. Egg. So yeah. you open the tato, I'll open these. Okay. I feel like, do you know what I'm going to do? Because this is a conti thing to do, but I'm going to open these the way people open them in bars. You're going to square it like That annoys me. Have a wee crisp this, there, Oh, this, this annoys the life out of me. People have been talking about it and I haven't done it. See that? People go... And they're just picking away and everyone's like... Yeah. They're uh, so flavoursome. Like. Yeah. These are... These, these bacon fries are dirt. It's like... Fuck me. That's like the bacon fries are like fucking ten times your RDA for salt, like aren't they? Oh, for sure. But like these are, ah, do you know what these are? I think these maybe have a slight edge on the Moorishness. So you keep wanting one more of these, like I'll say that. So the the bacon fries are like Chelsea right. in the sense of it's mad cost just to keep it run. You know what I mean? Mm. These are fucking. These are seventy two p for a bag outside. For a wee tootie wee bag, yeah. yeah. And this, what is that? One pound twenty five. One twenty five. This, see the twenty five. Th- that, that we added these, sneaky twenty five. These used to be a pound. Yeah, I've started noticing pre Brexit. Yeah, it's about it. It's a pound. I think it's Brexit. I've started noticing that things that used to be a pound are now like, are now like yeah like one fifty two pound, and then the bags that used to be like those tiny bags that were seventy p, they're mm. now like a pound, yeah. which is just absolutely there. And I'm going to do another round of these. Mm-hmm. For me, Tato's winning right the now. Tato's got it. Yep. I'm going to have one more of these and then see Because this overtook the Tato flavor, but mm. I'm going to see. I'm going to have one of these and then a Tato. Fuck. They're both so good. Oh, it's just tough. This is tough. See, Rep, the only reason I would say I think Tato's got it is because I would never have these unless I was sitting at a bar with, like, a beer or something. Yeah, yeah. Whereas I, these are a staple are, in our house. Yeah. Here, do you know what? Eating them two together is fucking nice. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's, Isn't it? that is good. I was just thinking God that. God damn. The, the flavor mixes quite well. Oh, shit. I'm going to do it, too. Let's slam one. Right. Let's do this. Like, I like the way we're doing this. Like, it's fucking a speedball. I took a mm. shit of sweet rap. Let's do it. Like an oyster. Yep. Yeah. They're good. That together? Yeah, that's good. Are you, put, are you putting that together into the semi-final? Is that, has that ever happened before? No. Oh, shit. They're a oh, nice combination. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Pour, pour the bacon fries into the table. Yeah. Tato and bacon. Tato oh, and bacon. My God, that was close. Oh, man. Shag it up. <laughs> oh, what a have we created. Not that the bacon fries don't all go to the bottom. Yeah, they're really nice together. Aren't they? Mm-hmm. That's quite lovely. They're all over the shoe. Let's have one more of these. How is that possible? Is I've this never... even allowed, what we're doing right now? I don't know what the Champions League equivalent would be. No, it'd be like... <laughs> ha- <laughs> yeah, the two like teams just joins Ma- forces. Man City and, and Barcelona, <laughs> just go here, let's beat let's Real Madrid. Hug, let's you know just hug I mean? it out. Yeah. <laughs> 
ever was putting one through. I mean, I it's feel like terrible. I feel like the Tito has to go through if it's it going through. It's terrible on its own because it's versatile. It's more valuable. You can have them play like pack of this in the cupboard. A sandwich. I've never had bacon fries. A tato, in the house. Sa- a tato sandwich. Tato sandwich, phenomenal. I don't. Mm-hmm. Phenomenal. I w- I don't think I would even attempt the bacon Here, fries here's, sandwich. Here's a here's a wee truth about this morning though. I had bought all the other crisps for the quarterfinals and couldn't get bacon fries in the shop I was in. Right. I went and got them today in the <laughs> garage in Hollywood. Right. There might be a wee bag waiting on me out in the car. We don't know. Oh, fuck. We don't know. You, you're you not sure? I can't remember. You can't possibly say. I can't remember if okay. I blacked out and had them before we <laughs> in here or if they're just sitting there. <laughs> right. If, if we're being fair to all the brands. Chuck a tato in there. It's tato on its own. Goes through. Tato, cheese, and onion. Yeah. If we're going crazy, <laughs> I would put them both through together. What are we doing? It's your call. Oh, I want to be fair. I know, I know, as sure as they're shouting a dog, Dan, that if I say, Do you know what, I will say, they're this. both going through, people go, Moo. if they both went through, that might actually hinder them in the next section because people are like, they have to be together to win. Type it of thing. also takes the, it also takes the price up to mm. two pounds. Yeah, which is high. Cost living crisis. Tell you what. Stick in your teeth when you have the bacon fries with them. Oh. It'll go through on its own. I'm I'm convinced. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna. I am gonna just do one more. <laughs> we one hit. more. We mash. One more. We hit. Oh, they're good. Like. Both of them. Oh, I've left it a lot. I've left it a lot. <laughs> Hang on. We'll do some tato on its own. Yeah, you could like yeah, like almost like a tato bacon sandwich. There you go. There you go. And people wonder. People will be like, "How's your weight loss going?" <laughs> Um, I've got the stage where I'm making sandwiches with all crisps. <laughs> Unbelievable. Crisp on crisp on crisp. Yeah. Tato, bacon fried tato. <laughs> Cream chocolate. Um, oh, that was fucking so funny. Cream, Cream chocolate. chocolate. Willie fucking room me out there. Chocolate, chocolate, we chocolate. Did. Cream chocolate. Was Willie telling you? <laughs> did he tell you about a cinema trip? No. Well, I don't like to talk necessarily about people when they're out here, but this this did tickle me the other day. This one's good. Well, he just texts me going, I'm in a cinema in town. Wait a minute, was this? I don't want to say which one it was. Two days ago. Mm -hmm. Okay, I knew he was going to the cinema. I didn't hear this story. And it's it's a cinema that sells drink. And they ID'd him. And he didn't have ID. (laughs) He wasn't allowed. So they they wouldn't serve him drink. And he left. But he had paid for the cinema already. Right. I went, did you get your money back? And he goes, nah. I'm just like, walked out. I'm like, that's crazy. That is crazy. Cinema now is like fucking 15 quid. Dude, like. like, at least. Like, that's crazy. I see someone post up a receipt of like four tickets they bought over in the cinema. And it was like fucking 70 pound or something. Yeah. The, the only person I know that, that would do that, and it wouldn't surprise me if they didn't want their money back, is Shane. Yeah. <laughs> Shane just go, oh, fuck it. Fuck it. You know what I mean? Fuck it. You know what I mean? But so it was like Sheen decided, or Willie decided just, I'm not even going to watch this movie because I can't get a drink. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I can't believe they did him. I mean, there there is no way you look at, you might look at William and go, fuck, what age is he? Like, you're not, you're not over gonna, 21 at least. Like You're not going to look at him and go, he's under 18. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's, that's that is insane. Mad, isn't it? That's fucking madness. Like, I wonder what he's going to go see. It's like, Do you know what it is though? See, when I worked in Tesco, uh-huh. we had, now we didn't sell drink in my one. But like there was items that were eighteen only, like eighteen plus only, and whatever. Yeah. And um, it would flash up, you know, a thing called th- it, the Tesco policy is called. This is the stupidest policy, by the way. It's called Think Twenty Five, right? Yeah, like so. If they if they look under twenty five, you have to ask. Yeah, you have to ask for ID. They or, might be right? fifteen. But, but I go like, send to somebody. Do they look twenty five? Is the same as going? Do they look eighteen? <laughs> yeah, it's the exact same right? fucking thing. Like, and yeah. I go well. Far enough, you ask for ID, but surely, like, you can go on the basis of what you think 25 is. Yeah. Do they look seven years younger than that? Yeah, like, that's an insane you know what I mean? policy. Like, like, I go, that is the stupidest. Yeah. And, and it, fuck, it confuses the people that are at the tills. Except, like, why are you actually, like, you mean the tell people or the people yeah. paying or paying Everyone. Stuff? Everyone, they're like, Everyone's why are you even asking going, me? Because then you go, I'm, I'd be standing there going, I'm 27. So, right, so say, right, they didn't, so, like, you were like, right, they look 25. I have to ask them for ID. And they go, I don't have it. Do you go, I'm not serving you then. You don't look under 25. What is it? So, like, say, like, do you have to ask them for ID if they look anywhere up to 25. If they don't have their ID, but they still look 25, do you 
Can you serve them? Yes. Oh, you can. You, you can. can go, you, you, you make can go, the, oh, if I was just asking. You make the decision. <laughs> now, if, I, if I looked at somebody and went, I would sort of go, oh, this looks dodgy. You can tell uh, it's dodgy. You know what I mean? And if it's like, I would sort of be more going, I mean, when I, like, I'd be looking at it when I was working at Tesco, say I was 20, 21. I'd be going, do they look like my age? Mm-hmm. Or do they look like they're still in school? Yeah, you can always tell you know when I mean? someone's because they're nervous as hell I know. coming up to the town. And, and, or they're overconfident. Yeah, they're like, oh, fuck, like talking oh. about uni. My oh. fucking assignment's been handed oh. in tomorrow. Oh. Jesus. I don't know how I'm going to get through this six pack after last night's 12 pack. <laughs> You're like, give me oh. your ID, you wee dick, right? <laughs> Uh, like one show me, show me your, do you know what? Show me your brother's passport and I'll give you these. <laughs> yeah, just because there's nothing right. No, there's nothing like... right. None on this for me. <laughs> yeah. What's the worst that can happen? I'm losing five twenty an hour. <laughs> yeah, do you know what I mean? Get, at yeah. that time, whatever. Five twenty. Fuck me. Uh, here, mate. Fucking Tesco was good money at that time. Yeah, no, yeah. Like, that and five twenty was. That was above minimum. You were wage. balling. Minimum wage, I think, was like yeah. fucking four six or something like that. Insane. Yeah, Tesco's um, always been good money. Yeah, Tesco's fucking good. Do you know what? I love working there. But even then, like. I, I remember one time going to buy my mate. I was buying my mate a fucking James Bond DVD mm-hmm. for his birthday. I think it was, I think it was. Is Casino Royale an eighteen? Is there nah, any? Surely it was definitely a James Bond. So it was a fifteen, mm-hmm. and this cunt fucking ID'd me. Now I was in my twenties, yeah. and I went. I was in the one in Lisburn in the big Tesco, and I went. I don't. I don't have any ID on me, <laughs> and my mate was with me. Yeah. And I, like my other mate, and so I was buying the DVD. This is what we're doing. I was buying the DVD. He was buying a crate of drink. We're gonna give them to our other friend for his birthday. Yeah, right? yeah that's yeah. what we're doing. And I think I must have been, I must have been twenty four, twenty five. And I went, I don't have ID with me. And I was John, just buy that and I'll give you the money. Yeah. And the guy goes, he can't buy that for you. No, the and James I, Bond. And I, and I went, <laughs> he goes, I'm, he goes, I'm, buying, I'm buying it for my other friend. And my goes, I'm, I'm not serving it. Fuck and I, up. And I literally was losing my mind. And I see a guy. You can't see what Daniel Craig's about to do. The manager was a guy here. I went to uni with. I went, I went to fucking uni with him. <laughs> I go, and I shouted down, I shouted his name. And I goes, come here. And he comes up and he goes, <laughs> right? And I went, Did, didn't I go to university with you? And he goes, yeah. And I went, tell him. Tell That's... him it's fine. And the guy, the guy to his own manager went, I haven't seen his ID, I'm not serving him. No fuck And I'm up. literally standing there just going... Like <laughs> I, I'm dancing in this shop. Yeah. I'm just like fucking like losing my shit now. Like just going like, <laughs> what are you on about? And the guy, the over well, James Bond, the manager went, "I'll do it." Then he logged your man out, logged in, served me. Went surely that guy go sorry fucking that. fired. And I'm like, how's he? He should he should be getting curb stomped. Fuck, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Just fucking oh, go over the top. Just go <laughs> like, go absolutely yeah, you know outrageous. Just fucking, oh, mate. Hung drawing quarter? Yeah. yeah. Just, do you know what? Go, s- go seven on this cunt and keep, <laughs> keep him alive on a bed and picture him every day. You know what I mean? fucking, Feed him beans until know, he explodes. Fucking f- <laughs> Is that in seven, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> was, that, was that something else? Feed him beans until That was unbelievable. We had a, a day on a set somewhere and we were recording with her. What, where do, where do beans come from? Are they on trees? Uh, here, no, that's a good question. Or are they under the ground? A, a bean, bean. <laughs> Michael, like, he, <laughs> he won't tow on his uni mates, but he'll, he'll drop hard banter. <laughs> oh, man. Bush banter. But, that, but yeah, no, because... Booster. Uh, booster. <laughs> I'd love to know. But I'm that's there. a genuinely good question, because they're covered in, like, what, the bean, the bean slime as do, well. Do you know what I'm thinking about? The only one I Where can does that come from? A, a broad bean is like a seed, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe. You're like, whatever. Or do they man. grow up in, or, or like green beans are in like those. Oh, then maybe they come in shoots. They're in a shoot. Is that where you get them? I'm having a look now. Thanks. I'm actually interested to know this. I want a bacon fry out of here. Yeah, they sunk to the bottom and I couldn't yeah. find it. I was... Oh, look at that. That's I'm trying to get bacon fry. <laughs> Beans, beans, yes. beans, eh? What's your favourite type of bean? Serious question. Does a chickpea count? I like chickpeas. Chickpeas are nice, yeah. Yeah, or like... I've um, never cooked them right, so I don't like them. Do you know what are nice? Black beans. Yeah. Yeah, black mm-hmm. beans are good. Pinto beans, I like. Mm. I'm a bougie. Yeah, bougie, yeah, yeah. I'm a bougie. Yeah, they're fucking See, I always, nice. I always get the black ones on my stuff. Right, okay. I haven't actually you went for the black ones. ones are spicy? 
they're they kind of just they're kind of just like Heinz beans, but right. bigger. Right, 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 right. up Heinz beans. I'm sure they've. I'm sure they are. They've got there some was, flavor that I just couldn't there's tell. There's a oh, Dan has some for us. Beans grow from seeds which are planted in the soil. The seed germinates, and a small plant emerges from the soil. As the plant grows, it produces leaves and stems, and eventually flowers. Beans are unique in that they are self-pollinating. <laughs> self-pollinating. Life finds a way. I love it. How many? Like, do you, how many <laughs> fucking <laughs> plants do you have to pick to get a ton of beans? A lot. Like, it hasn't given me that answer, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. I still don't understand what it looks like. On, it, oh no. Does it hang off a tree? Yeah, it's kid. Kind of- yeah, no, it must be in like you know, like anthrax or like you know, like, like a green a, bean, so yeah. like the wee bit, or like like the wee peas are I like in pods. Yeah, know? pods and stuff. Yeah, see, that's um, gross. See, that's uh, that gross. <laughs> in in America, there's a chain, co- uh, in on the west coast called uh, El Pollo Loco, oh, Crazy I've, Chicken. I've heard about that. Oh. Wait, that's in Breaking Bad. No, it's like that. It's okay. Los Pollos Hermanos, Chicken Brothers, right? Right. Okay. So. <laughs> El, El Pollo Loco is sort of a magical place because it is a drive through as well. Uh-huh. But you can dr- you, you can do a drive through and get like half a chicken, right? Oh, yeah. Or you can do a drive through and get like a you know, like a Nando's butterfly. Yeah. It's like that. Oh, that then they do it with like all Mexican y shit. Like they do yeah. like um you can get like flour tortillas or corn ones and they do mate they do beans and yeah. whatever. They did like a mix that was black beans with the pinto ones. Yeah, oh, like a wee mix some spices like, and stuff. There's a wee, there's some dirty in there, <laughs> a wee cumin or something. Yeah, oh, yeah. And they did, they did guacamole. <laughs> and we went there quite a bit. And we were over there. It was that fucking, sounds amazing. Yeah, it was fucking banging. That wouldn't. I don't know if that'd head off here. El Pollo Loco. But you think it would? Yeah. Do you know what it would? Because everyone's like, oh, this is the new. Do you know what I think would hit? Thing. There's oh two. wait, no, there's chicken. I forgot. I thought it was just beans. It's be- beans and rice is their yeah. main thing, but then they but have all this like chicken full, shit too. Chicken. Oh, that's I think um, and they do pork and all, but the chicken was good. I think I think stuff that I discovered in America is right. Two things I've discovered in America. One thing I discovered in Europe. I think we'd hit here. Mm-hmm. One is uh, what's it called SoCal Subs. So it's like a, a sub shop. Right. I think there only is one or two of these stores, but it's like these two brothers run it. Everything in it is gourmet. Look, mm. it's uh, it's unreal. They make their own pickles. Yeah, I did everything I had a like that. that in Chicago. It was, it was like a sub place, and they had a specific one of that day that they just made up, and it was fucking made banging. This like. place was just, and these ones had their own fucking soft drinks and all. Yeah, it was fucking unbelievable. That's what we need. And they were nice people. And then, um, the the other one that's sort of like that is in Rome, a mm-hmm. place called Fiori Norma, is like a a deli, that's kind of a fun, sandwich yeah. place. Yeah. And it's fucking unbelievable. Yeah. And it would hit here. But then the big chain, I think, for America, I think would hit here is Arby's. I think what Arby's is Arby's again? It's meats. Like Just different meats and things. Yeah, so like, you know, you can go and get like a, a turkey fucking club sandwich or something. Yeah. With, they love with a club sandwich fries. in America. And um, you can get like beef burgers and chicken burgers. But yeah. it's like all, it's just, it's its own thing. And it's all, that sounds nice. it's very meat. Do you know what upsets me about... You were talking about like you can get a half chicken or a full chicken, like yo, you can obviously do it at Nando's, but I think their portion is too small. Do you know what I mean? Like the full chicken, you're like this is this better fill this plate, and it's like a wee fucking shitty chicken. Oh, is it? I've never had one. It's not great. Like I think it's, it's weird. Delicious on the menu. Needs to be more. On the menu because I noticed this last night. The I never look at the menu because I always get the same thing. But they had to be a menu last night, so I thought, hmm, have, I'll, I'll have a glance. And on the full chicken thing, it says serves two people or, no or two or three. I went. A full chicken, if you buy it in the shop, should serve four people, like, yeah. it, c- confidently. Yeah, it, like, you know, this would not, a Nando's full chicken would not serve two people. Right, well, I don't believe a full chicken, like, if you buy it, a rotisserie chicken, mm-hmm. say, or you, you that could get, do you, you all day. Roasted, that should, like, you could conceivably go, I'll give you, every, four people, everyone gets half a ditty, mm. and say, and a leg, or a thigh. <laughs> we'll share the oysters. I know there's two wings. Half a dead leg, you know. Well, Depends yeah. what else you put with it. I mean, If you're having like a roast dinner, you could do four people. No problem. Yeah, but to a Nando's, you're not getting a full... What else are you getting yeah, with I'd it? I'd say chips and sweet corn or something. Chips and sweet corn, usually. Yeah, peri yeah. chips. I get the peri, peri chips, chips and the sweet corn. Sometimes double chips. Sometimes I don't like... Sometimes I feel like the chips is also not enough. Do you know what I mean? Do <laughs> <laughs> you have a pattern here, James? <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, no, I, 
you know what's good? The halloumi and Nando's. Yeah, this fucking tasty. I love that. The halloumi with the fucking, what do you call it? The chili dirt or whatever? Chili, <laughs> chili dirt. Chili dirt jam chili or dirt chili dip. Jam. That's fucking dirty. <laughs> I like that. Chili jam dip. And the Pyrenees, that's good. Mm. Pyrenees is Don't get me wrong, yeah, Nando's is fucking flavoursome. It's, it's a great time. It's, just like it's a great time. time. Mm. I, I, um, do you know we had, Chloe, Chloe bought a couple of wee brownies out of it one time. Brownies? Aye. Uh, they're, right. they're wee, they're wee dirties, look. Like. Uh, <laughs> they're small, but you don't need any more of it. Okay. Do you know what I mean? It's, it, it's an awful. It's very rich. Do you yeah. know where does a good brownie? Cafe O. Right. Cafe, they do. No, no, they, they really do. They do a good brownie. Um, oh, and if you want a 15, Joxer. Joxer's 15. I know, I realise what's happening here. Is yeah, you're I'm like, just starting to go, do you, do you know where to fucking eat bad shit? But you fucking mean it. Like, you like, it's see the good. Other, see the other night yeah. when I went to do a gig in Glen Avey, I came, I went backstage and they had waters and all, which is great. I like getting there and there's water just waiting. Yeah. Right? And I'm, I'm realising made that sound like I was also in that <laughs> trogue advert. But like, they also they had like a platter of buns and go to me oh, when we like no. buns and I went, I'm trying to like I am <laughs> actually genuinely trying to behave myself. Yeah, yeah. Like apart from when I'm making crisp sandwiches out of crisps. Out of crisps. And um fucking mental though. But like see out there, see if I had a platter of buns. I wouldn't eat before I go on stage. See after I come off stage, I go fucking I'm on that see, platter see, of buns. See I love I, buns see, and cakes. Oh. When, when I come off stage, I am usually ravenous. Same. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Especially and all bets are off. I'm like I don't. I'm like on a high, so I'm like I will eat fucking anything. Right S- now. Especially if it's like, if it's been like a long gig, or if it's been, you know, even if I if I've been closing somewhere, so maybe I don't want to eat before it. Yeah. So like, I've maybe been out from like half seven eight o'clock, Starting. and I haven't eaten from like four yeah. or earlier, mm-hmm. and it's now like eleven. Oh mate, like, <laughs> go on. You that, could, you could, what did you do, lad? Tray buns. You, you could you could put a fucking. I don't know, mate. You, you could put a fucking live pig in front of me. And I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll have some of it, like you know what I mean. It's fucking mental. Uh, at that point, like I, uh, I did a wee, I did a wee, um, I did a wee half and half on the way home the other night. And my fucking car broke down on my way home <laughs> from the Chinese. <laughs> so my Chinese is sitting there getting cold, and I'm going. You just oh, eat in the car. Fuck. No, and I, I, I was riding. You know when you're trying the car. <laughs> I'm the Chinese riding the car, like, like and then it. stay and then, warm. And then <laughs> it got like, it went into sort of limp mode, right. which is this thing that it fucking did before. And then as I'm driving down the road, I'm coming up to, and I'm, I can only get the car up to about 25 mile an hour. Oh, I hate that. And yeah, then I just switch it off at lights because it starts to shake when it's in limp mode. So switch it off the lights, switch it back on, fine. <laughs> it was just Fuck. being a dick. Like, right on, yeah, it. It, like, on real. So here, what have we got coming up comedy wise? Um, oh my god, I'm bad at dates. We've just got <laughs> just gigs, like, man. Just, just gigs. gigs, yeah, nothing. I, I'm at Telegraph, I guess. I'm afraid. I don't, oh, know, if that's, nice, I don't nice. know if he's said who's all going or what, but that's well, this will be out after it. So don't Sweet, yeah, yeah, Telegraph on Friday. Ha, looking forward, yes, very that's much. So. Class. I am buzzing. Are for you it. doing the pod? Are you doing stand up? I think I'm doing the pod. I think it's me, Mark, and Rui Woods. Class, so it'll be a good time. I don't, he hasn't told me nothing about it. He's like, I might need you for a sketch or two, and that's the last I've heard, but right, buzzing. Okay. Like, Right. Yeah. Well, was the, this last Friday, there, the, last, the last one in there was fucking on. Yeah. It, it was banging. Unbelievable. We went down, mate. It was like, it was like a fucking a nightclub. Like I yeah. walked in and went, "Fuck me, this is this is on real." Some set telegraph um, buttons, crazy. Yeah, it, it's fucking mad. I've only been yeah. once, and it was Pride, and there was just people walking around with like three tits and like prosthetic tits. Not uh, like, oh no, real, uh, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it was it was fucking nuts. I was like, I've never been here before, but I should come more. So often. it opens up now on Pride in there. I think so. I Has that been a thing for a while? Don't know. We just went last. Because mm. me and Wally were shooting a video on Pride last year. And he was like, I'll get us into the Telegraph. And they, he got us in. Because we had to film a last wee bit in there. I used to um, I, uh, I used to do gigs on Pride that were like, uh, like music. That were like, there was like a, a house party <laughs> right. over at Stram Ellis. And they hired me one year. Like just to sing songs? Yeah. And right, I just okay. go over and play music for like a couple of hours. It was fucking good money and nice people, but like, it it the party started. It, there was a time where it was like this party's mad, mm-hmm. and then it was like these parties. Are, everyone's getting old now. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, just, was I was just getting like a wee bit older, and they they were that. they were older than me. Mm-hmm. So they they'd seen me us playing and like McCrackens, and they hired us. And then when Johnny left, I went and did some of them, 
And um, but it was like they were maybe like ten years older than us. Yeah. So like they were just they were hitting like my age now then. <laughs> right, so they're, they're just like gradually being like, yeah, proud. You know? yeah, like they're losing all two yeah, yeah. Like I the fucking, guess the gig was getting earlier every year. <laughs> you know, like, come over at eleven o'clock. Come over at fucking half five, will you? <laughs> fucking want, want want this to be done before X Factor's on. I have to say, see you uh, for that boxing. See you singing at that. Mm. Blew my fucking oh, thanks, mind. Oh, thanks, man. So I was watching online and I was like, I see what it's like. And then you were like, Whoa, hitting the eye of the tiger with the metal notes. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, just, <laughs> like, it's fucking, just from everywhere. Yeah. I was like, this is going to be nuts. And that's that the tone, lad. I was just like, creaming out the whole show. It was fucking great. so metal. My throat then was like this. Yeah. I was actually not well. I, I remember like getting in touch with Shane and being like, okay. I I am not well. <laughs> and he's going, well, don't back out. And I went, no, but not. I'm not well. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, but you can't back out. <laughs> he's like, I don't give a fuck. I'm going hard. Sure uh, does, baby. Uh, I was fun. Like, I was fucking... That was phenomenal it wasn't to too watch. Bad. There was only one squeak. Uh-huh. Like one tiny wee squeak. Yeah? Really? Oh, yeah. in your voice? Yeah. I think you meant in the whole thing, like one squeak as in like somebody, <coughs> somebody fucked up something. Oh, no, no. Just one wee squeak in the singing. I uh, was... Well, he texted... That was the day I got off my boots and he texted me being like, come and be a ring girl with me. And I, could, I was like, walking like this, being like, I could definitely do it. Yeah. And then... uh <laughs> And then I was just like, no, I don't know. I don't know if I could do it because I, I like needed crutches and then yeah. the time. And then I seen what Willie was doing and I was like, I couldn't have done yeah, that. Yeah, plus like if you were, if you were, you could have, you could I couldn't have. Oh no, like if you were jumping I, in and out. No, I would have been further I was, crippled. I was fucking astounded by yeah. his energy because I was oh. literally going, I, I would hate this. I want to do that next time now. Yeah. I was just, I don't give a fuck about box anymore. I'm putting on what like we like her, whatever thing he's wearing, getting pants and just dancing all over him. Uh, mate, that was that was uh, some of the best crack. Oh, so funny. he was he was outstanding that night. He, <laughs> him and McCann were just getting absolutely <laughs> wrecked. Yeah, McCann well, just wearing a bald cap and like I'm Joe Rogan. Yeah, <laughs> that was like. But they it, were they were like I love that they were they were grand when that started and <laughs> then it just by the end it was like that two of them were like beyond going. Users are gonna fucking kill somebody. Right? Like they were just steaming. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? W- waiting on Willie, fucking appearing in like all them fucking pink clothes, just going. Yeah, I had me have done it again. You know what I mean? <laughs> fucking half four in the morning. Oh, he's fucking wrecked. Oh, it was that so was funny. So good, man. Um, well, here, do we have time for FIFA? I don't think. Do we need FIFA? Oh fuck! We're not I realize. I realize that this means that there'll be like three episodes in and around dropping at the same time, where we we'll haven't played FIFA. <laughs> Deal, deal with it. Deal with it. The crack's good. We're eating crisps. We're giving you all those sounds that you like in the mic. Also, Do people request this sound. No, the no. people people mostly hit it. But fuck them. But anyway, we will play more FIFA. We'll have FIFA in the next one. Also, if you really want to see me playing FIFA, do you know what to do? Over on the Patreon, I do it fucking every week on a Thursday. Anyway, it's been a lot of crack having you yep. on. Here. Thanks very much for fun. coming in. Uh, I I hope Friday went well from two weeks ago in the future. (laughs) It's all very weird. Um, uh, Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.